Hello, good afternoon. This is Diecast Luna. I hope you're all doing well on this Saturday afternoon. And today I was I was thinking that I fancied doing a challenge to just to add to all the other challenges that are out there at the minute, kicking about. And I was thinking, what can I do that's different? So I thought, you know, why don't I do something with some trucks and utility vehicles? Um, so basically what I'm going to call it is the uh, truck and utility vehicle challenge. So basically it means you can use any truck you like, whether it's a working truck, big rig, fuel tanker, um, you know, anything. Uh, and also you can use obviously uh, utility vehicles. So like police cars, fire engine, repair vans, uh, postal service. So that's basically what the video is about today. So anyway, I hope that's okay with everybody. Um, like I said, I don't have masses of utility vehicles. Uh, most of mine are made by Matchbox, funnily enough, but I do have quite a few nice trucks. But I didn't want to bore you all with all my trucks, so I thought, like I said, utility vehicles and trucks, you can't go wrong. So anyway, we'll get straight into it in usual fashion. <clears throat> and the first one I'll use is, we'll just get straight into it, one from Matchbox. And uh, it is this Scania uh, fire rescue or fire engine. And this is currently the sort of thing we use over here in the UK, or it's what we got here over here in the UK. Um, I don't like this, you know. Yeah, it's a little bit small. I'm not quite sure of the scale. Um, but anyway, Matchbox did do a good job on it because it actually has an, a metal upper, which uh, sometimes they have plastic uppers. But yeah, done very, very well. Um, I showed this fairly recently. Um, but anyway, still very cool. So that that'll get us that'll get us started. So that's uh, Matchbox Scania fire engine. We'll just have a little look underneath, see if it says much about it. Scania P three sixty fire engine, twenty seven seventeen copyright. So yeah, so that that'll get us that'll get us going. So we'll put that to one side. And then again, most of these gonna be Matchbox. Um, this is a um, I forgot what it is now. It is Fire Chief. So it's uh, another. Sort of fire rescue car. I think this is a Ford Interceptor, I think. But yeah, you can see it's in this lovely sort of burnt orange colour. And it is a... Let's have a look. Well, it says Ford Police Interceptor. But uh, it is a fire chief car. Well, that's what the livery says. But yeah, fairly cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a nice nudge bar on the front. Same sort of thing they would use anyway, the police. So yeah, so that's number two. And then number three, again, another matchbox. Most of these are going to be matchboxes. I don't have many premium utility vehicles. I've got a couple of um, green light police cars, but I've used them a few times, so I wanted to try and stay away from them a little bit. But again, this is a, I think this is a, I think this is a 1962 Cadillac. Um, paramedic fire... Yeah, is it paramedic? So it is, it is the fire department, Matchbox's fire department. Paramedic. Bit of both, but still very cool. You've got some, uh, you see a stretcher in there and some bits going on. Done a quite a nice job on this. <clears throat> this has been a massive vehicle back in the day. Very, very over manufactured. Very, very cool vehicles, Cadillacs. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, it's a 63 Cadillac Ambulance. And it's 181 scale. So yeah, you can see it's smaller scale. But nonetheless, still pretty cool. And then the next one will be, I believe it's again another Matchbox. You see it says Matchbox Highway Patrol Trooper. I think this is a Corvette Stingray, I think. It is 2015 copyright. And it says 2015, yeah, it's a 15 plate Corvette Stingray. But yeah, that's a hell of a police car. I don't know if they use these as police cars or it's just a matchbox thing, but uh, that'd be one awesome police car. But yeah, pretty cool. Number four. And then this one again is a Ford um, F250 or 150. I'm not quite sure until I look at the base. But you can see it's uh, Animal Rescue. Animal, well, it says animal protection, rescue. 
So obviously they all go in the back. A fan on top. This is a plastic upper. Uh, the metal base. It's all right. It's not one of their finest ones I've ever made. Uh, it is a 2010 Ford F-150. Yeah, it's not too bad. Like I said, it's not the, I prefer it when it's die cast, but uh, nonetheless, still pretty cool. Utility, utility, utility vehicle. It's number five. And then again, <clears throat> I believe this is a Dodge Ram pickup. You see it says cargo. Carriers. And again, I think it's this plastic or is it metal? That is metal, metal upper. But it's pretty cool. Let me see what toolbox is, some chains, some tool, a chainsaw there. It's pretty simple casting, but again, serves the purpose. And it is a 2016 Ram flatbed. It's going to be a Dodge Ram flatbed. So that's number six, and then uh, what else we got? We got this National Parks, another one from Matchbox. I said they're all from Matchbox, National Parks. Um, and it's, uh, I forgot what it is to be honest. There's like a Dodge of some sort. It is a 59 Dodge Cornet Police. Even though it says National Parks, but still, you get the idea. Very cool. Gotta love those big, lovely, large 50s cars. So yeah, so that's uh, number seven. And then these two I'll bring out at the same time, just because they're the same sort of thing. These are both Ford Interceptors or Ford Utility. I think it just says Ford Utility on the bottoms of these, but um, you see it's the police. Got the American flag there. Or at least I think it's the American flag. Can't quite see. But yeah, got the nudge bar. I think the police are using things like that now a bit more over the over the over that end over the, uh, the United States. I believe, if I'm wrong, you can you can all let me know. But I think they are using like uh, SUVs and stuff now, aren't they? But uh, yeah, 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got all tampoed front lights, tampoed rears. And as you can see, this is just a different, same, exactly the same vehicle, just different. It says Highway Patrol. It's just got slightly different. It's basically a, a variant. But it's exactly the same thing. <coughs> very, very cool. Got, you know, mirrors on them. Which is pretty cool. So you've actually got the moulded mirrors. So yeah, so that's the vehicles there. So I'll just push these uh, gently over to one side not push them off the edge and then we're going to get into the into one of my more favorite uh, trucks that i have out of my trucks that i do have and this is a 2013 or 2014 i'm not quite sure the actual year i believe it's 2013 or 2014 um freight liner petrol tanker so i'll try and get this into shot because it's massive and it's made by a company called first gear and if you know anything about model trucks or any that type of thing, you know that First Gear and DCP, um, very, very good brand make. I do believe that First Gear and DCP have merged now. Um, but this is a First Gear truck anyway. <clears throat> and um, we'll just take off the petrol tank for the minute. Put it to one side and concentrate on the truck a bit more. So obviously this is a 2013 Freightliner. Very, very well, well done. Um, you can see all the... The slats in the grill are actually there. It says actually says freight line on the front. Got proper lens detail for the lights and spotlights. The mirrors do come off. I have spares for it. It's got all the diamond plate around the fuel tank. You've got some steps. And you've got the uh, air lines there. With a real spring slides across. So it's done really, very nice. The interior is um, done very well, it's just if you can get to see it, it's more difficult to, but it is in there. And uh, the fifth wheel is metal and does pivot. You've got some double wheels going on, double axle. And a little look underneath, <coughs> excuse me. You can see the uh, 
twin diffs there and you can see the exhaust now, this doesn't have a stacked exhaust um, these are these trucks are more made nowadays for fuel efficiency and sort of aerodynamics and type stuff like that um, I believe this has an engine called a DD15 which stands for Detroit diesel uh, 12 speed automatic so these are very quite a simple truck to drive compared to the older trucks you got them lovely slotted chrome wheels on it I said it's very cool the trailer's really cool too um, very very heavy piece of die cast this is all one solid lump uh, I'm not sure if it's a uh, it's like a mill piece solid piece of uh, of uh, die cast or it's a, a, a aluminium or what I'm not sure but it's uh, nonetheless it's very very well done I'll turn around this way you got you know it's got the uh, all the warning labels on it, mug guards, where the fuel would be administered. Now these, these here, these actually turn. If I spin it around a bit, um, you can actually raise and lower the actual trailer up and down. So like, uh, obviously at the moment it's ready to go on the back of the truck, so it's in a slightly lowered position, but I can raise it up just like a real truck. And again, it's got the same sort of slotted wheels, real nice, tire treads nice yeah 2014 first gear but that's the copyright I think this is a 2013 truck yeah very very heavy piece very well done so anyway we'll, we'll clip that on I can, there you go no opening features on this. Most first gear trucks have opening features. This one doesn't. But anyway, nonetheless, it's still a lovely piece. So we'll just push that to the back out of the way like that. And obviously it's got the famous 76 gas logo on the side. <clears throat> and then the last one will be uh, this 1986 Fleetwood Bounder. Which is obviously a mobile home or, you know, camper van. This is made by Greenlight. And it is, it's actually from the Breaking Bad um, TV series. But uh, the one that Greenlight sells that's the non-Breaking Bad one isn't a great deal of difference apart from it hasn't got. I think it's, uh, I'm not sure it's Walter White or Jesse's t-shirt hanging out the side there. I'm not sure. But I know it's one of their t-shirts. Because they used to use it as a, a lab. It's like a drugs lab, I suppose, a cooking, cooking lab. Nonetheless, done very well. Again, got lens rear lights. You see the air conditioning on top. Windscreen wipers. Very, very well done. Very nice truck. I don't know a great deal about these, to be honest. Um, I do believe these have quite big engines. I did hear somewhere that these have things like... Um, it could possibly have a 440 engine out of a Chrysler in it, but again, if I'm wrong, someone can let me know. But uh, yeah, Breaking Bad, you can see it's green light, copyright 2015. Yeah, 1986 Fleet of Bounder. You can see you've got twin exhaust there, it's pretty cool. So it's, they're pretty well done. And again, this is pretty heavy. But anyway, so that's, that's my uh, challenge. I hope... Uh, it's something that other people can do and don't find it uh, a bit unusual. Um, but anyway, even even if uh, people don't want to do it, that's fine. Because like I said, I just wanted something to do. Um, but I'll be back again Monday now with my Mainline Monday video. And also I'll be doing my 100 uh, subscriber giveaway at the end of Mainline Monday. So stick around for Mainline Monday because you'll see what I'm going to be giving away for my 100 subscriber video. And um, please like and subscribe. Thanks for your support and I'll see you all again very soon.